This video will discuss the electronic partition function of atoms and molecules. So for atoms and molecules, to get the electronic energy levels, what we have to do is solve the electronic Schrodinger equation. So that's all in quantum mechanics. That's not the focus of this playlist. We just care what are the energy levels that result. So for the hydrogen atom, we get energy levels which depend on a quantum number n which is a number that starts at 1 and it goes up from there as an integer. And the energy of each level is, you can write it one way as, minus Planck's constant times speed of light times a quantity called the Rydberg constant divided by the quantum number squared. So the degeneracy of each level for the hydrogen atom in particular is n squared. So the first level is 1, second level is 4, 9, 16, etc. But the real defining feature here of this of electronic uh, energy levels for atoms and for most molecules too is the fact that this Rydberg constant here and in general the separation between energy levels in atoms and molecules is extremely large. So notice that for our rotational constants we had a number that was around 1 to 10 wave numbers. For our vibrational constant we had a number that was around a hundred to a few thousand wave numbers. For electronic energy levels, we're talking tens of thousands to a hundred thousand wave numbers set which separate each of the energy levels. That's an enormous amount of energy at the molecular level. So if we want to calculate our electronic partition function for the hydrogen atom, for example, we have a sum from n equals one to infinity of the degeneracy n squared times the Boltzmann factor e to the minus energy over kt so e to the minus minus hcr over n squared over kt hcr over kt n squared so for demonstration purposes let's just compute the relative probabilities of the, an electron being in state 1 versus state uh, or in state 2 versus state 1 what's the energy of the first excited state relative to the ground state the probabilities so that would be 2 squared over 1 squared for the degeneracy ratio, e to the hcr over 4kt divided by e to the hcr over kt. So we get 4e to the minus 3 fourths hcr over kt. If you actually compute what these values are, substitute in speed of light in centimeters per second, Planck's constant, uh, Boltzmann constant, and say 300 Kelvin, what you'll get is 10 to the minus 134. So what you're saying is it's 10 to the minus 130, it's 10 to the minus 134 times less likely to find the electron in the first excited state relative to the ground state. So for all intents and purposes, the electron is just in the ground state. So our electronic partition function is generally just the degeneracy of the ground state times the Boltzmann factor of the ground state. So for the hydrogen atom, for example, this would be 1, its degeneracy, times e to the hcr over kt. So for most atoms and molecules, that's true, that the energy of any given state relative to the ground state is much, much, much greater than kt. So what that results in is only the ground state is occupied, so only the ground state contributes to the partition function. So that's for atoms. In general, for molecules, what we have is we want we have a reference state where uh, the reference state is the atoms which are dissociated uh, from the molecule. So if we take all of our atoms and we separate them out infinitely far apart, that's defined as our zero of energy. So the energy we get from bringing our atoms and together to form the molecule is what we call our dissociation energy DE which so uh, our ground state of our molecule is going to be at minus DE so if and then we also care about the degeneracy of the molecule uh, most typical organic molecules are singlet ground states all the electrons are paired they're what we call a singlet if you have a single unpaired electron that'll be a doublet two unpaired electrons will generally be a triplet etc etc so most molecules are going to be singlets in their ground state so we have g1 equals 1 for most cases as I say for most molecules there notable exceptions to that include things like O2 O2 is a triplet it has unpaired electrons 
So just pay attention for the molecule that you're given that you don't get tricked for whatever the ground state degeneracy is there. But the energy of our ground state is going to be minus dE. So our electronic partition function then is just going to be G1 times E to the dE over kT. It's just the degeneracy times the Boltzmann factor for whatever our ground state is. So typically, uh, HC times dE is going to be on the order of 10,000 to 100,000 wave numbers. And uh, we're not going to need to worry about anything other than the ground state for a given atom or molecule.